and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Today we're looking at a tool you can use online to teach coding and computer science to any student age eight and over. Now the program we're looking at is titled Erase All Kittens and it is just a great fun, engaging way of teaching HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's dive straight into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. And welcome to the Erase All Kittens platform. Now you can simply find this website by navigating to eraseallkittens.com. Now Erase All Kittens lives in the cloud, it's all online. And as you can see from their welcome page, it's all about making coding fun and easy. Now it encourages creativity and the way it does that is by having this humor, this good sense of humor that the students really respond to. Now another thing that it does is it has been designed to inspire and appeal to girls in your classes as well. So it's made fun enough for all children in your class to join in this coding journey. Now if you would like to have a go at playing this, simply navigate to the website and click on play EAK. Now, this will bring you to the login page. If you already have a login, go ahead and log in right here. If you do not, then you can sign in with Facebook or with your Google account. You can also click the register button at the bottom and this will register an account for you. Now I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. Now on the next page, you get a little bit of information. Now this is the sort of information you might share with parents. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and just quickly show you what it shows and says. And then here we're going to click on play, erase all kittens. Now erase all kittens is all about CSS and HTML and it lives in the cloud. So you all you need is an internet connection and you can get started. Now the game is fun and it's just great to enjoy this game together with your students and let them experience the humor in the game. Now I'm going to play a couple of levels together with you so that you might get a feel of what this game does. Now I'm also going to record the in-game audio which is going to allow you to follow along. Long ago, in dark and ancient times, we lived in a world without kitten gifts. Then in 345 BC, before cats, the internet arrived. All creatures rejoice. Now after you've watched the video, you will get started. Now the video introduces the concept of the game and the concept is to erase all kitten gifs or gifs from the internet. They've taken over the internet and you're going to clean it up. So let's go ahead and have a look at the first level. And there we go. So it says this is you, you can move the keys left and right. So that's what we can do here, like a simple platformer. We can also jump using the space bar or up key. So here we can jump up and we can move this. Now there we go. We've just rescued a kitten gif. And as you can see, it's great fun. Students love it. And what you need to do, your aim is to release all these gifs and release the kittens back onto the internet. Now, once we get to this part, this is where the real coding begins. Now you can see, I'm a ledge, woohoo! There we go, and we get a video. Now these little in-between videos really engage your students and they keep it fast paced. Here you can see that there's a discussion going on and we can listen to this discussion or we can simply skip the entire discussion. This is very similar to a standard old-fashioned retro RPG game. Now here it says, well, thanks for saving or I don't have a gentleman puffin. I'm going to say thank you for saving me and we're going to keep going. Now I'm going to skip this. Because what it's going to ask me to do is, it is going to ask me to begin coding. Just as these days, everything in the internet universe is made with code. It gives you the power to change our world and create anything you can imagine. In ancient times, every internet creature could code, but now... There we go, we're going to skip. And now we can edit. So when we press this E key, we're going to edit the HTML. Now whatever is edited on the left hand side, that will change on the right hand side. So here it's telling me that this is the first paragraph, 
and then what I have to do. Now we're going to change this code. So what it tells me to do is simply click on this text and type our name. My name is CT. You can see that this ledge has changed and it's added my name. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the first and we're going to add, hello, I would like to cross over to the other side. And there we go. And let's save this. I can now cross the ledge. I'm going to skip this entire conversation as well. Now I do encourage that you let your students explore this. It is great, great fun. There we go. And now we can cross this ledge. So as you can see, using code, we are going to rescue the kittens. One more kitten released. Whee! And we are going to go to the next section of the game. Here we go. You can see we have some code, a ledge, and we need to get to the bottom. So what we're going to do now, we're going to again click on edit. And this time we are going to remove text. So that way we can create a ledge that is short enough for us to fall off. Done. And we can now save this kitten. So as you can see, the game is a platformer game. It has RPG built into it, so there's a lot of role play and you have to make your own decisions and reply to the characters in the game. And as you go along the different levels, you are coding in HTML and CSS. So a great, fun experience to introduce computer science, coding and HTML to all your students. Erase All Kittens, I would highly recommend checking it out. It's easy to sign up for an account and do contact them on Twitter because they have an amazing community and you can get in touch with them on Twitter. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please let me know in the comments section below. What platforms are you currently using to teach coding to your students and would you like to find out more about other platforms that you can use to teach coding, computer science and computational thinking to very young and slightly older students. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed it. And there you have it, an online program that you can use with any student, eight and older, to introduce HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now they're using real syntax, it is made fun and it stimulates creativity. So I would highly recommend that you look into it. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and check out one of these other videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.